the biggest strength of SBM is to be able to mix their international capacities and know-how with the Brazilian culture, mindset, energy put together, and that's SBM. The SPM operations organization uh, is currently operating uh, seven units in Brazil. Today we're producing just under 400,000 barrels of oil per day when we deliver Cidade de Mareca and Cidade de Sacarema. This number will double to approximately 800,000 barrels, which represents 20% of the oil production in Brazil. SBM has become uh, very much a Brazilian organization which allows us to perform much more effectively in Brazil. We have uh, currently about 910 personnel in the organization and 80% of those are Brazilian personnel. In terms of sustainability in the country, we need to engage more with the local communities and ensure we're, we're giving back to uh, Brazil uh, in, in addition to uh, achieving our own business objectives. Previous to 2009 all the FPSOs that SBM built were predominantly fabricated in the Singapore uh, shipyards. So SBM for sure was the pioneer in executing local projects in Brazil and that's for the very simple reason that we got the first project which was P57. So P57 was a key milestone where we decided as a company to say listen Brazil is an important market for us we're going to go there and we're going to be there to stay. Paraty was the first lease and operate FPSO we got awarded just straight after the successful story of P57. Parachi was the first pre-salt unit as well that SBM ever made. So it was a very complex unit and we executed Parachi in a very similar fashion to uh, P57. Once we were about to finish Parachi, we realized that if we were to depend solely on a third party yard to execute our projects, we could be at serious risk. When I talk about the, uh, the investment in, in infrastructure, I talk about Braza, which is a great success story. Um, the, uh, the island where uh, the Braza yard is on uh, was a greenfield site uh, in 2012. When I first went there, I had, we had boots on, it was full of mud, and there was very little there. Uh, Braza brings the Brazilianization of, uh, to SBM. Uh, we, we bring in the, the green and yellow and the passion that we have towards executing excellent projects. We as Brazil, we've been able to uh, deliver three major projects. So within three years, we've been able to build 22 modules and deliver three FPSOs. Iliabella was a huge challenge, yes. Why? Um, well, it was the first time that, uh, that SBM ventured with Braza. We had a, a complete new yard to build and in parallel we had a, a generation 3 FPSO with a top size never seen before, uh, over 24,000 tons, which was really a, a step changer compared to the previous projects we have done uh, so far in Brazil. VSL operates Pelicano 1, which is our shear leg with a capacity of over 2,000 tons, meaning that we control our own destiny with all the modules that we construct at Braza and we are able to fully integrate them using our own equipment. Braza and BSL are the most effective enabling tools for SBM. 
if we want to execute the projects as they are required by the client, we need to have reliable construction tools that will make sure that from day one all the way to the delivery, you can plan ahead and you can actually execute. At our peak, we had 3,500 employees. But what that means is that that's uh, multiplied throughout the entire chain. And if you look at SBM's project as a whole and the social economic impact that they have inside Brazil, you can account for over 48,000 jobs. Finish, one one, my friend, one one. Bella left was fantastic. I mean, it was uh, three and a half years of, of huge challenges for everybody. The feeling of seeing relief after such uh, an intense period was, uh, was a great moment for everybody. The strength of SBM in Brazil is to deliver a unit completely independent with a high local content. We have proven that the, the projects are reliable with good safety records and high production uptime. The Maracá Sacarama story is a great one. It's one that shows that we have confidence in, in, in the market. We had a contract award of two FPSOs to be built uh, in just over 30, uh, 30 months. We saw Maracá leave uh, the shipyard at the end of December at a record five months integration uh, uh, scope. Uh, Sadati di Maricana and Sadati Sakarima in Guanabara Bay was quite a phenomenal experience. To see the one going out and the other one coming in, it was uh, quite an achievement on a lot of people's behalf. Cidades de Saquarema has been delivered with zero LTI, and for this I thank you all. This FPSO is by far the best FPSO project that we have delivered in Brazil, and you were all part of this. We made a lot of investment here. We believe that the market in the long term, especially in the deep water in Brazil, with the fields of Libra uh, that are very large, um, and we are preparing for that uh, for that future. We are always ready for the next project. Yeah.